just talk it. I think you were. Do it again. No. <laughs> so today has been a very lazy Sunday, but I have one goal today and I need to take down all the Halloween decorations and get them packed up. Uh, this week Sawyer's dad comes into town, so I wanna get the house ready. And I had some fun deliveries come for winter clothes for, oh, yep, sorry, short body over here, little Atlas. So I wanna open up um, some clothes that we ordered. But Sawyer, uh, question for you. Uh -huh. What was your favorite, oh, wait. First let's tell them what did we de um, dress up as for Halloween? Uh, Jurassic Park. It was pretty epic. I'm gonna put some photos in here. Yeah. Atlas was the most adorable little dinosaur. It was only fitting because we call you a little dino. Um, what was your favorite memory from Halloween? A little quick rapid fire. Everything. I just love him. Seeing him in his little feet and carrying him up to a house and then getting his candy. Yeah, that was really cool. We went trick-or-treating with all the kids in the neighborhood. We literally live in like a little like hocus pocus neighborhood. Yeah, it's... my friends uh, built a hayride. I, that's what I was gonna say. That was the highlight of like. That was pretty cool. First of all, doing like pumpkin patch and everything with like Halloween with him, <laughs> but like our uh, friend built a little hayride off a golf cart with a trailer, and all the kids are in and out yeah, of like a hayride and trick-or-treating, it was adorable, so. But just seeing him be a kid, like, I just love him. Next year, he'll be walking up to doors. Oh, <laughs> not ready. Oh, I am, look at that bug. <laughs> look at that bug, look at that bug. <laughs> I think our first Halloween costume was pretty epic. Yeah, next year we're gonna go out, though. Yeah, now we know. We set the bar pretty high already. <laughs> you're gonna, I'm, you're gonna work? You're not gonna make some money. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna start taking down Halloween and getting that packed up so we can start preparing for Christmas. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Christmas is, well, it feels like it's already here. <laughs> I did it. I packed up Halloween. <laughs> Good morning. So I went to Costco as you can clearly see. And I have to say it's a lot more fun to go to Costco with a girlfriend. Um, being that it's like 45 minutes away, uh, my girlfriend Helena and I will run to Costco every once in a while. But I had remembered that I hadn't been to Costco since the baby shower. So it's been a minute. I think my mom ran in and grabbed a few things while I was like postpartum, but it's the first time I had gone and like fully restocked all of the things that we like normally use and I normally am stocked up on. So I, in the past, have done like a Costco haul. I don't have time for that today. <laughs> so I'm gonna just do a few highlight things of things that I found this time that were like new and different that I'm adding to like my normal Costco um, stock, I guess you can say. Um, so the first thing is the Graza cooking oil. I've seen this everywhere. Um, I had never tried it. My girlfriend, uh, she gets it and loves it. But this whole thing was like $13, which you normally pay in the grocery store for like not even half of this. So definitely a good little find there. This I've gotten in the past. They don't always have it, um, but it is a nice, little um snack if you will it is the love crunch dark chocolate and hazelnut butter granola a uh, nice little treat on yogurt at night what else um ooh, they had the siete is that how you say it almond flour tortillas i just used up my last few and i really liked them so i got more what else um oh had tzatziki sauce this time. I've gotten this in the past as well. You don't always have it, so when I saw it, I got it. Um, what else was new and fun? Ooh, this I had never tried, but I do like their like graham crackers. This is the Simple Mills. Hi, Maple, this is not for you. This is the chocolate brownie version, so I'm sure I will devour those in pretty much one sitting. <laughs> All my frozen fruits for my uh, smoothies, my protein smoothies. And 
these have been one of my favorites. This is the organic chicken sausage. I do these in breakfast burritos. I do them in scrambles. I just do them with scrambled eggs and do like sausage on the side, but these are really good and actually pretty clean ingredients. I think that's kind of it besides just getting my normal like lasagnas, fruits, vegetables, my steaks, things like that. Oh, this is fun and like really yummy. This is it. Rosemary Parmesan cheese loaf, which I thought I could just like pre-slice and use either as toast or sandwich bread or even use for like garlic bread. Um, and when I got it, it was like fresh out of the oven. It was still warm. So yeah, some quick, good Costco finds. Feel good about it. I feel restocked. <laughs> and I kind of feel like this is what this video is just gonna be all about. It's like a good reset video, taking down Halloween, Costco. I'm feeling good. I feel like it's a nice, fresh start the week after a holiday. So um, I'm gonna quickly get this all put away and into the fridge and freezer, find homes for everything. And then we'll go about our day. But yeah, nice start to a Monday. All right, everything is put away for the most part. I'm gonna go put bags back in the truck, but it feels so nice to have everything like fully stocked and like have everything that we normally use. It's been a minute, so it was much needed. Atlas just fell asleep in his crib um, and something that I wanted to do today. So this actually works out perfect multitasking. I wanted to go through his closet because we, have pretty much grown out of zero to three months, which makes sense. He's coming up on like, well, okay, my camera completely spazzed out, but what I was saying is because he was born five weeks early, he's really considered like four-ish months. So um, we still fit into some of his zero to three. So what I'm gonna do is clean out his closet, make room for some new things that I just ordered, like I mentioned earlier. Um, I need to crack that box open, I'm so excited. It's like some holiday stuff, so it's gonna be, I'm so excited to open it. But anyways, um, I want to clean it out, reorganize it, so do a little, a little tidying of his closet, so that way I know what fits what doesn't and honestly just clean it up it's kind of a mess in there that's the one thing <laughs> with an exposed closet that I've learned um, got to keep it a little cleaner because I don't have doors just to close it which is fun makes me organize and clean it more frequently <laughs> makes me keep up on it so while baby boy finishes his nap I'm gonna do a little organizing session today has felt really really nice nice to get everything kind of back in order um, now I say that a lot, but I found as a new mom, <laughs> it's kind of hard to keep up on things, which makes sense. It's everything's an adjustment. So on days or like if, when I finally get a chance to kind of refresh and restart on a few things and just organize, it feels really nice. It's good for my soul. <laughs> All right. With that being said, let the closet organizing begin. Well, that was not a very long nap. Not at all. <laughs> Mama thought she had more time to go through your closet. Do you want to help me? You want to help me go through your closet? Say hi. All right. Well, let's keep going, Bubba. I don't want to take these out of the closet yet, but. <laughs> No, he's a milk monster outfit. Oh, Halloween came and went way too fast. Oh, buddy. Okay. All right, that's a lot better on the clothes front. Did you notice I didn't cry this time? <laughs> I think the hardest transition was like, out of newborn clothes because like 
he was just so small, like as a preemie at like being five pounds. And he was in his newborn clothes for like almost three months, almost four. Um, just recently we started doing like the zero to three. So um, yeah, now he's growing super fast, already in three to six. So I pretty much combined it what fit with like his three to six month clothes. So it looks like a ton and it actually is, but I hang all of his clothes. I don't put any in a dresser. Um, so we have like all of his sleepers hung up and then these are all like more outfits. What I did try to do like in his pajamas, put the like last few zero to three towards the front so I can wear those for the next couple nights. Probably the, this week will be the last. And then we can move into the bigger ones. Um, so I kind of did that with the onesies and any outfits, just put the smaller sizes towards the front. So I, I know it's all organized. Um, I'm gonna kind of do a little TLC on the rest of it, organize it, tidy it up a tiny bit. Go get the little preemie hat. It's so tiny. Oh, are you playing? Guys, he's getting so big and starting to learn new skills and like starting to play and like use his hands. This toy has always been too heavy for him. Like obviously it's a pretty big one. And the other day I looked over and he just started like flinging it around and I'm like, oh my gosh, you're getting so big, Bubba. Come on, Oh my gosh, you're so cool. And I think, I think we might start like rolling over here soon. He's really showing interest. Like if he just threw that back leg and like really understood how to like get up onto his arm, we'd be there, but he is trying, which is exciting and scary and all the things, huh? You just make mama feel all the things. Yeah. Hi, baby. We love you. Well, buddy, mama did it. She cleaned out your closet. There is no more signs of newborn clothes in your closet. I know, I know, you're getting too big. Tomorrow I'm gonna crack this box and I will show you all the adorable things I found for him and my little niece, Nora, because we're gonna spend Christmas together. So there's some really cute, adorable, like winter and Christmas outfits in here. And now I have room to hang them up. Oh, I'm excited too. Yeah, that's tomorrow's project. I ordered some new clothes for you. A lot of new clothes. <laughs> Good morning. So I have been going non-stop today. Karen came over to help watch Atlas around 10 a.m. And as soon as she's got here, wow. And as soon as she got here, there we go. Um, I have not stopped. She helped me move the couches around. We did laundry, I made the bed. We powered through hanging clothes. We cleaned up Atlas's room all while he napped. So that was good. Um, one of the next things I have to do is load up these boxes into the car so we can take them to the storage unit, get Halloween officially out of here. And so we can start bringing Christmas in. Um, so, I think that's the next stop so I can finish cleaning and finalizing the house for guests. Sawyer, can you help me with this in a minute? Yeah. Can I use your muscles? I like your sweatshirt. Thank you. <laughs> and just these three boxes to your mom's car. All that's gonna... Can you open the door? Yeah, all that's going to Megan. She's gonna take that stuff. brain is not firing today. I've tried to start a sentence over and over again, but I find it so funny after a holiday is over, how you just like want to pack it up and get it out. I swear, Halloween day, I was like, okay, I'm over it. I want this all out. So, oh, also I ended up going through all of our Halloween stuff and getting rid of anything that didn't inspire me or anything that like no longer fit in our space. And that feels really nice not to tote around like extra stuff. So that's nice. I, I figured out how to talk. Words came out. Good. Yeah. I don't think that's going to fit. Um, it fit in the way here. Also, all of that thing. You want to come show me how? Yeah. Your box we'll go down. play. Yeah, we'll go play Tetris. Halloween is officially put away. So we just put the last few items up in the attic. Now we can move on to Christmas. Whew. 
I am letting Atlas play on his little play mat right next to me. Um, a little independent play time. So I thought while he's doing that, I could show you what I ordered from Carter's. Um, we are going to be going to Michigan for Christmas this year as well as uh, Nora, my niece, will be turning one in February. So we have some cold weather destination trips coming up. So plus like the holidays and Christmas. I ended up placing a very large order on Carter's of like some cold weather items as well as some matching PJs for Atlas and Nora because we're going to be spending Christmas together. We basically want the cousins to have matching outfits day and night because it's just going to be so adorable. Plus it'll be the first time that they will be meeting and it'll be their first Christmas. So very big event for the cousins. <laughs> More so for the parents. Um, but it'll be so fun. I'm very excited to see what I actually ordered and what it looks like in person because some of it I didn't know how it would turn out or if it would work, obviously. For this, I didn't know if it would work, if it would be like too much um, or if it would just be perfect, but it is a corduroy pram outfit. So it's like a thicker, not quite a snowsuit, but like basically it's like a wearable blanket, if you will. Um, but it was like this olive green corduroy with like this striped hood. And I'm like, wait, that's kind of adorable. Um, and I ended up getting it in a nine month, um, which is just crazy. I'm buying nine month clothes, but, um, he will be six months right before Christmas. So he'll probably just be like, almost out of his six month clothes and edging into nine months. So for Utah in February, he'll definitely be like in a nine month outfit. But that looks huge. What buddy, that's crazy. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I thought this would be so freaking adorable. It reminded me of like a little North Face Patagonia outfit. Wow, you are just going crazy over there. How cute is this? It's like a little fleece onesie with like little snaps up the front. Do you want to see what else I got? Yeah? Okay, you can come hang out with me. You can sit right here and see what mama got you. I grabbed this Sherpa onesie, which I thought was really cute. It basically feels like a little Ugg boot and it's also a nine month, but it definitely looks smaller than that green one. So I don't know if this will be necessary. Then I snagged two little outfits. This is like a little bit of a thicker fleece, little button up onesie, um, but I like the pockets on the front. Yeah, you wanna hold that one now? That one's soft. I couldn't resist, I had to have it. Okay, you wanna play with the bag? I mean, how adorable is this? It's like a little varsity onesie. I loved the little collar and sleeves. Looks like a little varsity jacket. So those would be perfect for like Utah and Michigan. And now, we have Christmas PJs. Oh my gosh. Thank you for being my little helper. Yeah, all right. Little sleighs and trees and reindeer and snowmen. And it has buttons all the way up the front. Can you spit up a little bit? Okay. You good? Not bad. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, wait, he needs that. That'll be too cute. Okay, that's six months. I don't I have a hard time believing you'd be bigger than that in like a month-ish. I don't know. I mean, how cute is this little red onesie PJ set? I mean, that's just darling. Like I want matching PJs with him on that. I'll have to find some. Just cute little solid red PJs. This one I feel like you could wear past Christmas. I feel like that would be okay. But it's a little bit thicker. It's more of like a quilted pattern or material. It just has like simple little little pine trees. So it's like Christmassy, but also could just be a little bit more wintery. All right, do you want to see your matching PJs with your cousin? Can't wait to call her and show her what we got for the cousins. I snagged this little matching outfit. These little red and white stripes. How cute is that? Okay, so this one's a six month, so that's yours, Atlas. And then this one will be Nora's. Oh, that's right. Oh, okay. This one I did snag in. That's right. I did grab a 12 month for Nora. And you guys can also wear that like into like Valentine's Day. All right, this one I'm so excited for. I had to order this little gingerbread. How adorable is that? I even asked my mom, I was like, mom, can we find like gingerbread PJs for like all the adults and just match the kids? Because this little gingerbread set is adorable. So we have Atlas, 
as well as the two-piece set for Miss Nora. It'll be so freaking cute to see them matching the whole trip. That is everything I ordered from Carter's. I will link everything down below because it's too stinking cute for the holidays and for winter. It'll be fun to dress up for winter, you know? Kind of feels like summer year-round here. So we're gonna go find Mr. Atlas a bottle. Somebody's hungry, huh? Okay, let's go do it. All right, Atlas has now finished his bottle and is playing in his bouncer. So I will now continue the show and tell portion of this video. Um, I had stopped into Home Goods and found some really cute items as well as some things at Target um, in preparation for Christmas, which is crazy, huh? Still can't believe Christmas is like, it's not here, but it's like here, you know? All right, um, let's start with what I found, I guess continuing with baby clothes because, you know, you can't get enough of it over here. Hi, Maple. So both of these are matching outfits for Nora and Atlas. We have this little Santa sweatsuit, which is just too cute, with another little PJ. I found these on Amazon. They are by Burt's Bees. So I have one for Nora and one for Atlas. So I think that's it clothing-wise for the kiddos. You just want to play with him. In no time will he be crawling and running around for you to play with him. Yes, thank you. Apparently this is a family affair. <laughs> I guess this was the only thing decor wise that I found at Target, but I wanted to kind of like refresh some of my Christmas wreaths. Um, and I saw this one. I've had this particular one in like the white. I normally use that one like year round, but I thought the red with glitter was really pretty. I also thought it would work for Valentine's Day. So this one might work for two holidays, which will be nice. And then I totally scored at Home Goods. I'm very happy with these finds. So I found a stocking for Atlas. Um, I do knit stockings for everyone and everyone has like their own little pattern and print. So I thought this one was adorable for Little baby boy. I like the little checkers. I thought that was very cute and very you. These beautiful, actually when I saw these, I was like, I need those. They're coming home with me. <laughs> um, I found these beautiful, gracious, very curious today. <laughs> I like these for two reasons. One, because they look really nice and honestly, they look way more expensive than what they were or are. And I also like that they're removable. So if I ever want to use the inserts for something else, I can, and I can just put the red covers in my Christmas box, vice versa. Um, I always love when I can find pillows with a zipper so I can wash them, multiple reasons. But anyways, found this set of two for $40, so not bad at all, and they are actually very large. I'd say they're probably like a 22 inch. Okay, so Maple likes them, she's nuzzling. Can I help you? <laughs> do you like the pillows? I'm glad you do. All right, then this last item I found was too good, I couldn't resist. I fell in love with it when I saw it, but it's this gingerbread house. I've been wanting a gingerbread house for so long to like decorate with and like have on a table, but I didn't want to like go crazy with like a whole village or anything. You're back. Okay, sit down, stay. <laughs> but when I saw this one, I knew this is like what I was looking for. I liked that it was like mainly white. Um, obviously it has like the gingerbread roof and like the base, but I liked the touches of green and red. Um, and it'll, match my decor perfectly. So that is what I found at Target and Home Goods. Um, really happy with my finds. I feel like with Christmas, I'm starting to get more like picky and particular because I already have quite the collection. So when I do end up finding something or adding something to it, I try to like out to do what I already have. So it's always really fun to see what I can find, but very, very happy with it. And you did very well during my show and tell, buddy. Much better than your sister, Maple. Don't know what that was, but she was happy to be a part. <laughs> Hi, big girl. All right, so I'm really impressed with what I was able to get done over the last few days, like between taking down Halloween, going to Costco, resetting the house for guests. Just feels really, really good to kind of get the house back in some what of order. Um, yeah. It needed it so thank you for joining me in this really random few days in my life but it felt really good to get some things done and organized and put away it was perfect timing on that carter's box and everything that i found like for christmas so anything that i did find between carter's and target and whatnot i will have a link down below so that way if you liked it it will all be down there for you but 
uh, yeah, I think I think that's it for this video. Can you say thank you for joining us? Yeah? Say, I'm gonna stop growing so mom will stop talking about it because I'm getting too big way too fast. But yeah, Sawyer's dad should be here within like the next couple hours, so I'm gonna finish getting a few things done, but I won't bore you with that. So, as always, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>